What's up everybody, my name is Captain. you're watching a team deathmatch on Plaza, playing some Black Ops 2 baby. I have not uploaded this game in a long time, had this one sitting on my hard drive, thought it was a pretty decent one, it'd be a good backdrop to talk to you guys here. Something I've been thinking about with the Call of Duty series lately is, and it's really just most with the last few iterations of the game here, um, and I'll explain a little bit more and try to get into in-depth here, because I want you guys feedback, I want you to leave some comments below and let me know if you agree, disagree, or your thoughts on it, but... Here's the basic premise of this. Is the reason Call of Duty is fun, or is the reason why most people play it over other first-person shooters because of killstreaks? I know that's kind of strange or whatever, but you think about it, I'm like, to me, the honest opinion, um, Black Ops 2 had some of the most fun killstreaks in the history of Call of Duty. I, I really enjoyed all of them in this game. I thought they were a lot of fun to use or whatever. But I mean, if you look at how Call of Duty has progressed over there, you start off with, and I'm not going to count the first ones. I'm counting from COD 4 on because that's when it became really popular. But Call of Duty 4 and World at War, you had the three basic killstreaks. Everybody had them. But to me, I don't know, it just when I went back and played those games, and I remember playing those, it didn't seem like as many people camped for killstreaks or boosted for those because they were kind of... They were just additions to the game. They weren't really a, a huge objective. Now, in some of the Call of Duty's, it kind of seems like most people's primary objective is trying to get a kill streak, and they base their entire gameplay around trying to get that. I mean, you start with Modern Warfare 2. How many people know of nuke boosting? Raise your hand. Everybody? Yeah, okay. And then um, Black Ops 1, it wasn't so much a big deal, but it kind of was, because you had people trying to camp for their dogs in the chopper gunner, because, well, they didn't stack, so if you called in something else, you were two, three kills away from it. That's when people started dropping on ghosts and hiding in bushes trying to get this. Modern Warfare 3 came out, then you had people Moab boosting here. And then you had Black Ops 2, and people would boost for swarms and camp for swarms and hire, you know, get their viewers and other people to come into the room and play as support classes so they could get their swarms and then um modern warfare 3 came out or that already covered that game never mind and then call of duty ghost came out and all of a sudden now people are looking at us like wow call of duty ghost is so boring it's so slow and again this is my opinion based on how i play and the people i talk to but Call of Duty Ghost seems really slow and really boring. It just, it's hard to seem like there's any action going on in the actual lobby. It just really doesn't seem like there's much happening all the time. And if you think about it, the kill streaks in Call of Duty Ghost are really boring. I mean, if you use the specialist class, that's great because you're probably a running gunner, or at least I hope you are. But if you look at the assault kill streaks, they're all really boring to use. There's not a single one on there that I feel is actually effective to call in. I mean, me personally, if I ever play the game, I've given up on even trying to run assault kill streaks in the game because they're just, they're not effective, they're not worth the hassle of trying to go beast mode to collect and get all of them, they're just not that fun at all. And uh, so you're not running support kill streaks, and which, you know, help your team out or whatever, but then it's no longer a thing. It's like, oh, okay, I'm just going to run and gun and play, and if I end up getting my 10 or 12 kills throughout the entire game to get them, that's great. But it's no longer fun. It's I don't ever feel like I am just have this domination moment where I've gone on 8, 10, 12, 14, or 15 kill, and all of a sudden I'm getting some really powerful kill streaks that I can just unleash hell on the actual opponent. That's not how it seems like that way in Ghost. Now, of course, we have no idea what Call of Duty 2014 is going to be, Modern Warfare 4, how, however you want to word it, whatever it's going to be called. But I'm hoping they go back to the exciting, fast-paced, boom, blow up in your face, adding a lot of stuff to the map sort of killstreaks there. That's just me personally. Because I think it's fun. Like I said, I love the killstreaks in this game. All of them. They're all a lot of fun to use. They're really fun to run. They, I don't know. They just seem like there's a lot going on. And it makes the maps a little bit more hectic. It makes people move a little bit more. Now, do you get people camping for killstreaks? Of course you do. But then it goes back to my original thing is... Is the reason Call of Duty fun is because of the killstreaks. If you took them out completely, would the game be fun? Which is where I go with, you know, talking about Call of Duty Ghosts. Because the killstreaks in there are boring as hell. And everybody talks about how slow the game is and how boring it is and how nothing ever happens and whatever. So, and that's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, if they made a Call of Duty that had zero killstreaks or they brought back an additional tier of assault killstreaks that didn't do anything, would it be boring too? 
just kind of my thoughts here. Um, this round is wrapping up pretty quickly here. Like I said, I thought I had a pretty good round. We beasted the crap out of these guys here. I was using SMG, running class. I honestly don't remember what I was on my class here. I can't remember. But it comes one of my favorite kill streaks as is right now. Lightning Strike. I love that. See, I got a quad over there. I'm about to run in, drop my sentry gun down, which I loved using that as well. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, throw a like on there, leave some comments. You guys have a good one, and I will talk to you later.